Hi, it's Erin McGinley, um, and my question uh, regarding the Oliver case study was, what do you think the impact of the wife's culture on this was, and how would you have addressed it? Um, and Oliver's wife had lived in the U.S. for 16 years, but she still held some of the same beliefs that she developed while growing up in the Philippines. And in the article, it stated that in Philippine culture, um, wives believe that they are not to defy their husbands, which ultimately led to her enabling some of Oliver's um, alcohol abuse. And it also stated that um, Oliver's wife wanted the social worker to just teach Oliver how to drink responsible, responsibly, um, just to kind of get rid of the negative side effects of drinking. Um, and she didn't comprehend the need for uh, complete sobri sobriety. Um, and I would have addressed this by having the wife um, included in more of the therapy sessions. Um, and that way she would be able to understand the entire scope of alcohol abuse. Um, and would also educate her on how to decrease her enabling habits um, so Oliver could get clean eventually. I would also suggest that she attend some kind of support group like Al-Anon um, for people that have loved ones suffering with abuse. Um, that way she could become more educated on the issues um, and therefore um, supporting Oliver in his recovery. And then as far as the macro issues I saw in this case study, um, it would be the military's encouragement of drinking at like social functionings and whatnot, and also the military's uh, stigma of uh, substance abuse programs, which I know is an ongoing issue um, with the military and something that does need to be addressed. Um, as far as in this case study, I would have approached these issues by suggesting maybe a military-based AA program um, that only includes people that are active in the military or um, retired from the military. And in that program, Oliver could remain anonymous in his treatment, um, but also gain the support of others trying to become clean and sober um, that are in the military. Right, thanks.